teaching an instrument online is nothing new. People have been doing it for a few years, like like me as a music teacher. But with the pandemic that's come in 2020, uh, a lot of music teachers have been thrust into this new world of online teaching. And it's kind of brought up the question again uh, that maybe people have had in the back of their minds. Can online teaching or online learning of an instrument like piano, guitar, or ukulele be just as good as learning in person? Well, the short answer is no. Uh, there's nothing like having an actual teacher sitting next to you, helping you learn an instrument. The online experience just does not take the place of that. So why not end the video right there? Well, the reason I wouldn't want to end the video right there is because there are actually a lot of positives that come with learning an instrument online. And there are a lot of ways to kind of get around the deficiencies as well. I mean, you can think about it this way. Educating a child one-on-one -on -one is almost certainly better than educating a child in a classroom. A teacher can give solid, undistracted attention to a single child that they can't give to an entire classroom full of students. But that doesn't mean that we dump the classroom experience. In the same way, teaching an instrument online is not quite as good as being able to teach in person or learn in person, but that doesn't mean we should dump it. And here's why. Online teaching is less expensive. A uh, teacher doesn't have to rent out studio space for students to come to, or if the teacher goes from home to home, um, he or she doesn't have to spend money on gas or car maintenance or just time wasted that they could have been teaching otherwise. So you got to imagine that if all my lessons were online, if all my students were online, I could lower my prices, pass the savings on to my students, and still make a profit. Online teaching can also be less of a hassle for parents and their students. A lot of students I teach are brothers and sisters in the same family. I may teach three or four or five students in one hour, two hours, or two hours and a half. I can't even imagine what it would be like for these parents of these many children to every single week pile all their kids in the van and go down to some studio for you know two or three hours while trying to you know corral their kids and keep them entertained all the while each student is having a lesson online lessons can simply be less of a hassle for people even if you don't have a family making that drive every single week can be a pain 90 percent or more than that of what i teach can be taught online just as well as in person. Think of things like how to read notes, uh, playing correctly with dynamics, uh, using the correct fingering, hand placements, how to sit at a piano, things like that. Most of that can be taught online as well as in person. If a teacher has the right camera angles and tools at their disposal, they can teach almost anything. For example, if I need to show a student where to place their hands, I just go to this camera. If I need to explain uh, something about notation, I can go to the whiteboard. I can even record my lessons and s email them to them so that they have a reference to go back to during the week. Well, that's all the good stuff about online teaching, but what about the bad stuff? Well, one problem with online teaching is that, at least for right now, you can't really do duets in real time. So collaboration and learning how to play with another person uh, is not really a possibility over platforms like Zoom and Skype. There's just too much delay in the sound and in the video to make that a possibility. However, one thing that can be done to get around this is for a teacher like me to record an accompaniment, to record a certain portion of music, send it to my student, and then have them play their portion of music along with what I've recorded. And this can be very beneficial. For example, they can listen to the accompaniment over and over again and try to play with it over and over again at home. The sound is not fantastic. Um, now, obviously, it's not so bad that a teacher can't tell if someone's hitting a wrong note or uh, playing too loudly or too softly. At the same time, it's the sound is not as pristine as it would be if uh, the student and teacher were there in person with each other. But the reason sound can be so bad over such video chat platforms sometimes has nothing to do with the platform. Sometimes it just has to do with the kind of mic that's being used by the teacher or student. 
and also uh, the kind of speaker that the teacher or student has. Higher end mics and higher end speakers will provide better sounds. If teachers and students invest in slightly better mics or slightly better speakers, it can go a long way. For example, the mic that I'm using right now to record this video is an Audio-Technica condenser mic, this one right here. I use this one when I'm giving my lessons as well. And the difference is astounding between this kind of mic and just your ordinary webcam mic. There are also ways that you can improve the sound uh, simply by changing preferences in, for example, the Zoom platform. Um, you can turn off the option for HD video so that your internet connection has an easier time of funneling all that information and sound um, through your computer uh, to your speakers. Um, also, you can you know, uh, disable automatic voice changing, different things like that. Um, if you just kind of tinker with it or look up videos on how to sort of improve that, um, you can get a long way. Another problem with online teaching right now is that oftentimes the video or the sound can sort of glitch or stop for a couple seconds and then come back on. For me personally, this has never been an overwhelming problem. Uh, I simply ask a student to play their little section of music again and it's fine. A lot of times there's no problem at all, but um, it can be an issue at times when you're giving lessons to students. But again, there are ways to improve the quality of uh, the images and the sound. One way is to make sure that you are not using Wi-Fi, but instead using a dedicated Ethernet cable to connect uh, your computer to your modem. Another way you can help yourself is by simply getting faster internet. I had to pay maybe an extra 10 to 20 bucks a month to uh, boost the speed in my internet connection. Even getting a more recent model of computer or boosting the memory on the computer that you already have can make a difference in the quality. So there you have it, the good and the bad of learning piano, guitar, or ukulele online. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, or also share it with someone that you think might benefit from it as well.